Good morning, my friends. I hope everyone's had a great week and are out to gay, enjoying fellowship with each other and uh, just having a wonderful morning of praise and worship for our Lord and our Savior, Jesus. Uh, I still got my whole voice thing going, so I apologize for that. And I uh, had, had some technical difficulties here at the house this week and uh, hadn't been able to to get things printed and things like that. So I'm, I'm having to use my, my tablet to do the devotional today. So I like to be looking off to the side uh, uh, a bunch. So uh, maybe we can get through that without it uh, bothering y'all too much. But uh, anyway, if y'all would uh, continue to uh, keep me in your prayers for this dizziness and, and the lung problem that I've got going, it's uh, not, not just seeming to get very much better. Anyway, the Bible tells us that God has a purpose for each one of us, and he guides or puts us in the places he wants to be to fulfill those purposes. Now, we've got a choice to make. We can choose to follow God's prompting or ignore it. Now, I've always found that it's usually better to follow what God has for you than, than to ignore it. Now, Paul tells us in 1 Corinthians 12 that we're all part of the body of Christ. And like our body, we need all the parts to work correctly where they are. He also tells us that God places every one of us exactly where he wants us, when he wants us there. The problem for us is that sometimes God's plan will change for us and he'll want us to go a different direction giving us a new story for our lives. Now, a lot of times we kind of kind of go uh, against that, don't we? But back in 1982, a few months after Tammy and I were married, I became a Christian. Well, to my thinking, the music that I'd always played had nothing whatsoever to do with the church. So I thought that I was just done playing. But the music leader at the church, he showed me how that I could use my trumpet to make music for the Lord. And I thought, oh man, this is great. I know what God's got in store for me. This is where I'm supposed to be. This is what God has for me. Well, went on with that for a few years and I ended up getting transferred and we found a, a new church. But there was nothing there for me and my music. Well, after, after a while, though, a new guy came in leading music, and we formed an orchestra. And I was able to play in that orchestra for 15 years. And that was a new story and a new song for me in my life that God had given me. But just like he, always, he does sometimes, God changed my story again. He called me away from playing music to teach children with Tammy. Whoa, wait a minute, what? No, no music and teaching? Are you kidding me? But this ministry was now my story, my new song for the Lord. And it was just a wonderful blessing for us. Tammy and I taught for over 17 years. Well, then a few years ago, we moved to where we are now. And again, there was nothing musically for me at church. But then came COVID. And my friend, Pastor Richard Harris, he asked me to begin these weekly devotionals and hymns for his church. Now, three years later, God has expanded this little ministry to reach hundreds each week through Facebook and YouTube. And we have followers in many, many states and even four different continents. And this is another new story and another new song that God has added to my life. As Paul said in 1 Corinthians, we're all part of the body. We just have to be willing to be the part that God wants us to be, where he wants us to be, and how he wants to use us. We never know when God wants to give us a new story or a new song.
hope you all have a wonderful and blessed week this week.